Hey guys, it's me, um, and I'm back with another Dot Who um, toy review. Uh, I apologise that it's been a little while since the last one, but you know I've had a few things to concentrate on. But anyway, I'm glad to be back with this amazing thing. Right, this is the um, Doctor Who Pandorica chair, which was extremely hard to track down, but I tracked one down on eBay, and I finally got one. And let me come in here. Oh, you can see the stand in the reflection. Yeah, I use the control panel as a stand. But anyway, as you can see, it's got the chair in there. And there, that's where the dot sits. And a picture of River Song. And um, a figure of River Song there, which is amazing. So first, let's take a look at the box itself. We have the BBC logo there. And not the character options logo there. What's that logo? Uh, that is called Underground Toys. Okay, and the Underground Toys logo, just there. Okay, so that's basically the front of the box, that's all that's there, and with this exclusive River Song action figure, and movable clamps, and restraints, uh, and it fits the standard 11 Doctor figure in there. The big Doctor Who logo there, which is really nice, and just some hazardous... You could kill your children. Warning there. Uh, this side of the box, n nothing too special. You've just got a picture of a song there, as the in the costume that you'll see in the action figure. Another exclusive of a song action figure. An actual picture of the Pandorica chair itself, and it just says the same. You know, movable clamps and fix the eleventh Doctor, and then what's in the box up here. Nice big Doctor logo there with the BBC. Uh, Thing there. The back is exactly the same, basically. Uh, pretty much. Not exactly the same, but it is pretty much the same. You've got a smaller, like, Doctor Who logo there, with a few legal stuff. I don't know if you can actually see that. But anyway, it's just legal stuff. A few legal stuff. And then, cheekily, really, really, really close there, Pandorica Collect and Build CD case sold separately because there it says Pandorica chair uh, compat uh, co um, compatible with the Collect and Build Pandorica CD cube case because this isn't the actual Pandorica it's just the chair and it fits into the CD case I'll try and get a picture up on screen but I don't know if, if I will remember and then there, it just has information on River Song and information on the Pandorica itself. Nothing to miss there. This side, exactly the same as the other side. Nothing special at all. Big up to the logo there. The top, uh, that's the top there. See, it's got the Dr. Who logo at the top with um, what's in the packaging. And, you know, just basically, it's really nice because it's got the big plastic all over. So you get a real good view of what's actually inside the box. Um, now the bottom is, as you would expect, the legal stuff, which isn't as much as character options, options seem to put on. But yeah, so that's the box, pretty much. Let's open it and have a look what's inside. Okay, so this is what you get when you open the box and get everything out. It's um, a little bit awkward to get out of the box, uh, but, you know... Considering what it is, it's uh, honestly easier than I thought. Okay, so basically what you get is a River Song action figure. I'll review this first. Uh, as you can see, a face, not bad. Hair looks a little bit like a wig. Uh, quite a lot like a wig, actually. But, you know, that's okay. Um, so you got the pouches there. Just zoom in a little bit. Uh, very highly detailed, you can really, you know, see that they're like old leather pouches, they're there, uh, and the jacket as well, like the, uh, this is really nicely textured, I don't know if my camera is doing it justice or not, but you can really like feel like the creases in it, it's really nice, the belt there as well is very nice, um, she also comes with a gun, 
which as you can see is in her pouch, so if you just want to lift her arm up, you can pull out the gun, and let's put her to the side, and bring the gun into focus. Uh, it won't, hmm, maybe it can't focus on the gun. There we go, so as you can see the gun is really, really nice. I mean the textures are just amazing, like the black bit at the top. Uh, it is, even though it is such a small thing and the paint has, you know, run a little bit, but considering it is very, very highly detailed and it really does look like the actual gun from the Pandora Opens. It's, it's amazing. Uh, so basically what you do is you get River, who is here. You get River and then you get this gun, which is there. You just slot it in her hand. I hold on. Let me let me get round here. Hmm. There you go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, slightly, slightly harder than expected to get the gun in. There we go. You have to like slightly prop it up a little bit, but you know. Considering that isn't that isn't too bad. She doesn't look great when she's holding it, but you know, you're most probably gonna have it inside a pouch anyway. So yeah, that's that's I just kicked something. That's nice. I do like the gun. And then you can just plop this out and stick it in her pouch there. So articulation. The arms bend the elbows the arms bend at the elbows, sorry. Uh which is nice. There's a little joint there that allows you to put your arms out like that. They don't move up and down from a shoulder, but they do move out from a shoulder, like this. Um, but simply, that's because of a jacket. As you can see, the collar there would be blocking them. Her legs uh, can pretty much do the splits, uh, and, and um, she'll also end at the knees. And that's as far as she'll be able to play like, end her waist because of her pouches in the way. Um, so that isn't too bad. A head, well, there's very little articulation at the head. Um, basically because of a hair, it basically blocks it blocks uh, a head from being able to move around. So, all in all, uh, the figure is very highly detailed and the gun as well is amazingly detailed. But let's... Look at the boots. Yeah. You can just see for yourself. It's really nice. I've done a good job on this figure. Um, face looks a little bit weird. But, you know, apart from that, all in all, I'd give it a 7 out of 10 for detail. And a 5 out of 10 for articulation. Um, okay. So let's move on to the Pandorica. So let's get you out of the way. You can come here. And the Pandorica. So this is just amazing. So basically, this is the pan this is all that comes. That is the actual chair itself. And this, if you have the uh, if you have the Pandorica Collect and Build CD case, this will basically slot into it, and you'll have the full Pandorica. But as I don't, I'll hopefully try and put a picture of it up uh, around nowish. Um, so let me bring it in and get just the chair in focus. Okay, so let me show you the articulation on the chair, which is really amazing. As you see, the little arm holds here actually open and allow you to put arms in. These waist straps will pull out, and these shoulder straps will lift up like this and reveal the chair in which the doctor can sit on, which is just amazing. I thought it would just be like a, a chair that you couldn't put anything in and it would just be stuck there, but no. You can actually open it, and it is really cool. If I just pick up the camera, because it's slightly awkward to move it around, you can see the detail on the chair itself is really amazing. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of a simple chair to start with, so it's not the hardest of things to put like detail into, if you know what I mean, because it is basically just silver. But even so, it's still...
still really good. Uh, that's the side, side like this. Let me put the camera back down. There. So yeah, that's the side. And the back looks nice as well. And what I also like is you haven't put any like um, copyright stuff or anything on the back. It's all on the bottom underneath the uh, underneath the base here. So it's on the bottom under there. So that is really nice as well. So let's uh, get you a little bit closer there, and let's get the doctor in. Okay, so I've got my. Where is he? Here he is. Ow, I just dropped him. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so here he is, the 11th Doctor. Figure form. So basically, all you need to do is bend his legs up and his knees down. I've never actually put him in, so this should be fun. Right, let's slot you in there. Let's get, come on. Right, okay, so he's in there. Put his arms down there and close that. Put that arm in there and close that. Okay, they're closed. Let's bring the shoulders down and then the stomach in. And there we go. The 11th Doctor in the Pandorica chair. Now this just looks abs absolutely amazing. Uh, let's get the other song back in the picture. This looks truly amazing. The fact that, you know, the, the detail in the Pandorica chair really doesn't let it down. And, it, and the fact that also these will move and close and these will open and actually allow the Doctor to know, like, sit in the Pandorica. That I like a lot. So yeah, this is, this about wraps up the end of my second review. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I, I've enjoyed it, I think. Well, I have, I've enjoyed this toy, it's amazing. Uh, I don't know what you think about it. Uh, leave the comments below what you think about it. Uh, leave a like if you liked it, but yeah, I just love this toy. Uh, altogether, the actual set itself, I would give... Probably a nine and a half out of ten. It's really nice, but the problem is I haven't really seen it advertised at all. I just saw it on another review basically, and then that's what basically we saw me to get it. That's basically what tempted me to get it. I didn't. I've not seen it in the shops at all. I just saw it on another guy's review, and so it's kind of a shame that it hasn't been, you know, publicised as much as it should have been because of how good the toy is, but, you know, I, I found it on eBay, and so we were reviewing it, so, yeah, um, thanks for watching, uh, my second review, uh, I hope to, to see you soon for my third one, which I hope will come in sometime this slash next week, so, yeah, um, thank you for watching, have fun, bye!